Who are you? Me? I'm no one. But you? You're even godlier than Brasidas said you'd be. It should be your statue between these trees. Brasidas? What does he have to do with this? Warrior, he said. Look for the mighty warrior with the broken spear. I added the godly bit. Brasidas knows a warrior when he sees one. Word of my deeds will outlive any statue. Of course. Your story should be sung from the mountaintops. In Arcadia, you are already a legend. Where is Brasidas? I need to speak with him. Of course you do. And the woman, you'd like to speak with her too, yes? Wait. She looks like you. Tell me where they went. I should. It's what Brasidas paid me for, after all. Then why don't you? He didn't pay enough. Die, dog! Yeah! Yeah! 
My story will outlive any statue. Who says that? Tell me where they are, or I'll cut that shit-eating grin off your shit-eating face. He said you had a nasty temper. He wasn't wrong. You're lucky I'm busy, or I'd be claiming your bounty. Tell me where my mother is, and you may walk out of here alive. You show mercy. Arcadia will give you none in return. Speak! You'll find them on a hill. A cliff overlooking Tegea. Brasidas didn't pay you enough? Who did? Tell me, or I'll wrap your guts around your neck and hang you from that tree. The Archon. He's... Paying more for your head than Brasidas could afford in two lifetimes. Tell me who the Archon is. I want a name. <laughs> La Rose. His name is La Rose. And he's the most powerful man in Arcadia. He who controls the grain controls the world. Consider yourself lucky. I've seen enough blood. Oh, but you'll be seeing a lot more. Welcome to Arcadia, Alexios. Dead. Thank the gods you found us. I got your message. Your messenger is lucky to be alive. He betrayed you, Brasidas. These cultists Marini told me about. They knew you were coming and must have forced La Rose to place the bounty on your heads. Trusting anyone in Arcadia will be difficult now. Which is why I say we put that Archon's head on a pike. Our message to the Puppet King and Sparta will be clear. Let's find out more about what's going on in Arcadia. We should be able to solve this Lagos problem without too many beheadings. 
After what happened to the monger in Corinthia, that crowd wanted blood. Violence doesn't always solve problems. <sighs> Whatever happens, we need Lagos alive. Acadia is Sparta's breadbasket, and Lagos keeps it full. That man is working for the cult of Cosmos, not Sparta. Then we need to free him from their grasp. What makes you think he wants to leave? Bounties and threats aren't Lagos's style. He's a farmer, not a killer. What do you have in mind, Brasidas? Unlike your mother, I think we can handle this quietly. I'm going to begin by investigating a safe house he keeps. There might be some evidence there. What do you think we should do? I still say we send the Archon to Hades. Upsetting Sparta's breadbasket will send the false king searching for crumbs. The Archon is no longer the man you knew. The cult has him now. Looks like I came just in time. You certainly did. But it's time to make a decision. Your strategy makes sense, Brasidas. Thank you. I'm glad you agree. You're letting sentimentality cloud your judgment. Thousands of Spartans depend on Lagos for food and protection. His death would bring chaos. There's a farmhouse northeast of Degea where he has a safe house. Meet me there before you do anything you'll regret. And what if Brasidas' plan doesn't work? The Archon hides like a coward in Fort Samikon. You can't miss that monstrosity. You could go after him now, but be careful. He's well defended. Then we must weaken his defenses. He's got barracks full of guards and silos full of grain. It would be a shame if any came to harm. I'll go see what Lagos is up to. Good luck, my lamb. You don't understand. This isn't just about fire and weed. This is personal.